today's installment of the High Handicap Challenge, we are playing a new course, so we'll be trying to go 11 over or better, two up and downs, no free putts, and no triple bogeys. Not only is it a new course, but the weather has started to take a turn for the worse, so it's quite wet out there today. But we're going to kick things off with a 5-iron and hopefully find the middle of the fairway. Nice. Nice and we're joined here with Dai today. But as you can see from this camera angle, there's not going to be much rollout today. That 5-iron's carried all of four ball lengths, but that does mean it'll be clean in place. So moving on to the second shot with the 6-iron in hand. Hopefully get it up towards the green. I think the tree could slightly be in the way. It's not going to be in the way if I go up to this tree though. So I kind of push it off to the right hand side there. Leave me having to try and go under the trees. So opting with the 5 iron in the end. And I've carried that one well long. Uh, so now I'm setting up for this short chip back towards the green. The temptation to try and go through that little triangle gap in the tree trunk was going through my head. But obviously we're going to play smart and play out just to the left of the tree. And hopefully leave ourselves on the green or on the fringe. And pulled that off quite nicely in the end. Could have gone a little bit closer to the tree perhaps. <laughs> so now we're putting from the fringe. Hopefully get this one nice and close. And just misses. And we'll hopefully be able to tidy this up for a two putt. And unfortunately that's lipped out, so that's a three putt and triple bogey. Although technically the first putt was on the fringe. Would you guys count that as a three putt or a two putt? Let me know. So back to the five iron from the tee on the second hole. And again I've hit a pretty clean strike on that one. Just pushed it slightly off to the right, but we're going to be in the fairway. For those asking why I don't use the driver very often. I uh, thought I'd give a little practice shot after my main shot. As you can see the new backswing, I've not really had a chance to practice with the driver as the driving range has been closed. And that one was topped right down the middle. 200 to the front. Uh, I don't normally go 5 iron off the bat, but... Treat yourself, mate. Bit of gentle persuasion from Dai and I'm going with the 5 iron from the deck. Nice. Beauty. Hell of a shot. And I think I may have to listen to Dai more often. Yeah. Take him around the course Ooh, with me. Five iron of choice. Why don't you normally <laughs> take it off the deck? <laughs> Just push the record button. <laughs> you have to do a reenactment <laughs> shot. Hopefully. So unfortunately, didn't get my actual shot, but I'm going to try and reenact it here with a light 52. Ended up chunking it a little bit, so not as good as my actual shot, but ended up being in a better position if that makes sense. So we join myself at the back of the green with my actual ball. So a fairly long putt, just want to make sure I lag this one up close. If not, make it drop. That could have been a little bit ambitious, but hopefully we should tie this one in for... Oh, no. oh dear. Well, if I didn't tick off the free putt last time, I'm certainly going to this time. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. That's a four putt. So on the green for three, and ended up leaving the hole on seven. What an accurate way to summarize high handicap golf. Annoyingly, I actually really like the greens. Anyway, back to the first par five of the round. Sticking with the five iron, and ended up smacking that one right down the middle again. Second shot, we've got to lay up to water anyway. So losing the distance from the drive to the five iron probably was the right play. So taking an 8 iron now just to lay up before the water is the plan and that will give me a nice wedge across the water into the green. That's the plan anyway, let's see if we can execute. As you can see even the practice wins are getting a bit dirt on the club. But anyway, I finally step over with the 8 iron. Oh no! And I top it all the way down. Thankfully it reaches the bank. <laughs> Mugging me off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up. Fuck off, Siri. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to the end of the bank, so I'm on a slight downhill line. So we're going to take the seven eye at this one and hopefully get it across the water. And end up putting a stinger off to the right, which went across the water, and as you can hear, it bounced off the rock at the back and then pinged off to the left. 
and went back into the centre of the fairway where I initially wanted to lay up with my eight iron. So it all worked out in the end. That ball's gonna be ruined. Yeah. Right, I'm just so gonna um, just gonna drop another one to see if I can make that seven iron across the water. And classic. That's golf in a nutshell. Give me one more attempt and I land just at the back of the green. Unfortunate. <laughs> Most unfortunate. Ah! <laughs> so we're a shot behind schedule. However, we now have a wedge shot just across the water here onto the green. Oh, no. And unfortunately, I thin it a little bit and we're Ooh, going to be look. at the back of the green. And Siri mugs me off for a second <laughs> time in the mug you right over, the over to the back of the green now. A good opportunity for up and down from this range. 52 in hand, hopefully land it halfway and roll it towards the pin. And that's come out very nicely. Might even hole out. Oh, so close. Nearly saved par. Confident enough to keep the 52 in hand and see it in for the bogey. First bogey of the round. Onto the first par three of the round. So seven over already, not looking good for the 11 over or better right now, but let's see if we can maybe sneak a birdie or at least get a par. Eight iron in hand. Not the cleanest of connections. So I'm gonna come short here, but I'm not in those bunkers to the left, which is the main thing. So short 52 degree from the edge again. Oh dear. That's way off to the left. No, 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 no. Oh. And nearly rolled into the bunker at the back. Good, but that was shit. Yes, it was. Okay, so I'm going to try a little 60 degree now. Probably should have putted, but I wanted to get the confidence of the wedge again and just didn't give that enough. <laughs> Hopefully we can make a one putt, maybe a second up and down, tick it off. And left it just short. So we're going to tap it in for an easy double. But really should have got a bogey or a par from that one. Something you don't see every day. Back to back par threes. A uh, bit of a shorter one here, so I'm taking the pitching wedge at this one. Slight wind with us. Actually, it was a nice little valley you had to get across. And again, not the cleanest connection. It's going to come off to the right. Fend it a little bit, and it's hit the right of the green and rolled off the back there. Really wanted a second go at this one, so pitching wedge in hand again. Oh. And that one's much better. Look at that. Ooh, landed just short of pin. As you can see, there's the mark there. What could have been. But we're going to pick that one up and then move across to our ball, which is located just at the right of the green here. Unfortunately, it rolled into this thick stuff. So you really want to hit the ball direct, otherwise there's a high chance you just go under it and the ball goes absolutely nowhere. But again, a nice chip with a 52, and it's rolling towards the pin, and it's giving us our first par opportunity of the day, and chance to tick off the second up and down. And oh, I've squandered it. it Sadly pushed it off to the right, but it's going to hopefully leave us with a easy tap in for bogey. Oh, this is devastating. So devastating, but not too damaging to the score overall. Short narrow par four here. Yeah. Taking five iron at this one. Again, hitting over a slight valley. Definitely don't want to top it. And again, another pure five iron it's down the middle. Around, it's coming around. I mean, if I'm hitting the five iron like this, the driver can stay in the bag. But we did have time, so I thought I'd try and give the driver one more go. And I absolutely pured it. Oh, it's gone way off to the right, into the distant field, never to be seen again. Although, Square in the fucking center Ooh, of the face. Beautiful. Yeah, pleasantly. Look so, at this. We just aim, aimed out, so. Look at that, right in the center. Just the uh, path was obviously completely shambolic. The short par four has left us with a pitching wedge in. So hopefully we can find the green on this one. And it's a great connection. Slightly off to the left, but hopefully we should be on the green with that one. And that we are. <laughs> So we're going to replace the divot and give ourselves our first birdie effort. 
really need this one at plus 10 over. Quite a bit of movement on this one left to right. However, when you hit it that hard, you're going to find yourself off the green. So on the green in two, off the green in three. Got a redemption putt from the fringe here. Oh, and what a line, just unfortunately left it a little bit short. So it's going to be an easy tap in for bogey. But again, really should have come away with a par there. So it takes our score to plus 11 with three holes left. So need to par all of these or get a birdie. Five iron okay. from the tees, push slightly okay. off to the right. And luckily appears to have okay. kept to the left-hand side of the fence. Yeah. We'll have I to go and have a look though. Thank you. Yeah. End like up finding myself in a cart track just to the right. But as you can see there, I managed to get a full swing. So I'm going to put the five iron away. And I'm going to take a full seven iron at this one. And hopefully get up towards the green. Just got to avoid that tree on the right as well. Nice. But a nice clean connection towards the green. We're going to come up just short. Yeah. But it gives us a good wedge shot in. Again, the lack of rollout on these fairways really costing me distance. But 52 in hand. And again, just come off to the right there, but we are going to have a up par and another opportunity to secure the two up and down challenge. Let's see if we can make this one. And again, left it just short. Could have really done with dropping that one in. And that's going to be another bogey. And it's going to take us to plus 12. We have two par fives left. We do require a birdie. So five iron in hand. Oh dear. And I've topped it down the middle. Oh no. <laughs> you just the lady's here. <laughs> do, you to, do you want to move up onto there? <laughs> yep, so just made it to the ladies' tees. So obbling with the five iron from the deck once more, try and get some distance. And again, another sweet strike with the five iron. I just wish I could have done on the first occasion. So you're trying to take a six iron at this one to go to the right of that tree. And it's a clean Aww. strike, but as you can hear, it's hit the top of that tree. And I'm gonna have to try and find that one. You find it? Yeah. So oh, I've only had died not so optimistic. To the right. Yeah. Ended up finding it though, in this pretty dodgy situation. So he took a nine iron. But unfortunately, going to have to change that one out as I hit the top branch on the backswing. Not going to be a nine iron then. So we're going to opt for a punch shot instead with the seven iron, and hope to get it out into the middle of the fairway. Wasn't the best of connections, but it is out, and we're going to have a wedge shot in with the sixty. So it could have been worse, could have been lost. So we're going to take a full sixty degree at this one. and a very clean connection end up going long with the flag unfortunately but we are going to be on the green unfortunately this is a bogey putt already so do kind of need to make this one but quite a long putt well i didn't leave it short at least all right so now we need to try and redeem this and putt it on the way back at least i know the direction it goes and again just missed that one it was a fairly decent part but unfortunately it's another free part and it's another triple and it takes the plus 11 out of reach because i need a hole in one on a part five which is not going to happen with this five iron and i've hit a little stinger down the middle so it's in the middle of the fairway at least let's see if we can finish the hole strong try and get an up and down to at least tick off something Gonna hit one last drive for the day. And smacked it off to the right. All right. And heard a noise, but thankfully no damage was done from what we could see. So I find myself back in the middle of the fairway. Five iron in hand. And I've drilled it into the trees to the left. After missing that first shot, I'm going to wait for these cars to pass on the right-hand side. Definitely don't want to shank it into one of those. Six iron in hand to try and get towards the green here. And I've pushed it off towards the right, it's going towards the road. Clears the tree and thankfully stays just on the right-hand side of the fence. Drive at the pin. 
So I didn't see any out of bounds posts, so I'm going to play the shot from here. 60 degree in hand. There we go. Oh, and I've absolutely oh, nailed it shot. next to the pin. Maybe we're going to complete a challenge after all. Can I make it for the up and down? So the second up and down opportunity. Can we see some green on the right hand side? Requires a one putt. Can I make it? Oh, and I managed to sink a great up and down there. One putt. Beautiful. <laughs> but unfortunately I can't lie to you guys. And this is what actually happened. So I kind of chunked the 60 degree, didn't make it off the rough. Oh, then pinned it to the back side of the green. This one has been next to you, mate. And then left me with this long putt, oh. which is actually pretty good. Oh. It does miss the up and down. And we're going to push it in in the end for a double. So unfortunately means another episode of no completed challenges. And sometimes golf just gets the better of you. But thanks for watching. Be sure to check out one of the other episodes on the left. And I'll catch you next time.